guys. So it's time for another workout. Uh, today I'm going to make it a little bit shorter for you. Um, and I'm just going to give you a few exercises that I want you to just carry on with yourselves. So what we'll do first of all is a quick little recap just to get the heart rate going as well. And we'll start with your heel flicks. So simply from that position, you're just going to take it behind with your, with your feet. So you're aiming towards your hands behind you. So you may remember with this one, we're working the back of the leg. We're starting to shift that body weight side to side. Just take that leg as high as you can. I'll show you from behind. So with this exercise, you can aim for 20 to 30. So alternating the action to 20 to 30 repetitions. From there, I'm going to take you into our potty squats. So that's your mini squat. So with that, you're just going to bend the knees and raise the arms forward. So let's start to get the upper body coming in as well. So we're taking it to the next level again now, really. You should hopefully be getting into these workouts. You should already be feeling the benefits from them as well if you've been doing them regularly. So we're just going to do three more. And with this particular exercise, you can aim from 10 to 20. It all depends on how you're feeling. Let's do an extra for luck there as well. Lovely job. So please remember that. So everything with these workouts is all based on how you're feeling and what you feel you're able to do as well. So the next one then, we're going to start swinging the arms a little bit more. So we're going to take it just a little bit bigger. So we're going to sink into the, uh, the mini squat again. This time, arms come right up to the top. Sink into the mini squat. Arms come up to the top. And again, down, up, down, up. Let's keep it going. There you go. So you can see your full body is starting to thrust forward there. Nice. Sit back into the mini squat. And then a big raise up through your arms. Let's do our last couple. And drop. Fantastic work so far. Well done. Let's take it one more for the arms then. Let's do a lateral raise. So some of these arm exercises now you should be starting to get quite familiar with. We know that they're starting to work around the shoulders. In particular, we've obviously worked a bit through the chest as well. So if you just start by taking them up and down, so out to the sides as a lateral raise. So already now, you should be feeling a little bit warmer. You should have your heart rate starting to increase as well. Let's aim for three, two, and one. Fantastic job. Last time we were really starting to look at around the middle sort of area as well. So like I said, hopefully you've been getting on really, really well with, with all those movements, like the wood chops uh, that we did last time. This time we're going to take that movement still sideways, but we're going to do it with our leg instead of the arms. So I'm going to get you to do a nice step back, bring the leg forward. Step back, leg forward. So you can see my arms are just going with the movement. It doesn't hugely matter at this point what your arms are doing. Whatever feels natural. There you go, that's good. And again with the movement there, just as much as you feel you can. Let's do a couple more this side. So just as high as you can through the knee. Change over, let's have a little go this way as well. So again, just allowing your arms to just, just do what they want to do. They can go with you. You can, you can use them to kind of come into the knee if you want to, or you can just leave them out of the way so all the movement's coming through the body, through the leg. You might start to feel this one now on your leg, not necessarily the one that's moving, the one that is holding you still. Okay, that's always the trick on that one, but actually you will feel the leg that's holding your body weight more than the one you're actually moving. So with that exercise, obviously it's a big test of balance. So you need to engage your core muscles and try and maintain that nice steady flow throughout. So that is your five exercises. That's all I'm going to give you today. Five exercises. All the repetitions are going to range from 10 to 20. Or the first one we did, your heel flicks, can go up to 30 if you feel you're able to. And I'm going to ask you now to see if you can repeat another one, or two times 
to see if you can start to feel your body moving and, and start, that, start building these exercises so that everything starts to get a little bit easier the more you do it. So give yourself a nice good workout now, but I'm going to leave you there for today. Once you've finished either another set of all of that or two sets, then please make sure you have a little stretch. By now you should remember some of the stretches that we've done previously. If you, if you can't, revert back to some of the other videos that we've done before um, and just have a little stretch to ease your muscles at the end. But until next time guys, once again, thank you for watching. Keep sharing, keep subscribing and good luck.